All right, we got this little project going on today. A little DIY, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Doing a little bunk insulation, kind of like what I did in the outdoor kitchen with the Reflectix. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of insulation um, in here. So, yeah, these little buttons here, they just pop right off and expose the screws. Now, I don't think I necessarily need to do that to pop this Luon or whatever wood that is off because um, it's just stapled down. But it, I want it out of the way so I don't mess it up. So, I'm going to pop this off. And now, just a Phillips head. I can remove those, and I'll do that and bring it back. That's about as good as you're going to get. time doing this so you don't split this wood it's not exactly the highest quality material I shouldn't even have said that because now I'm probably gonna do it I gotta move you not really the best camera angle sorry you have to deal with it or fast forward I don't care Take your time, go slow. Maybe a little faster than that. Try not to cut yourself on the staples. On the staples. Oh wow, they missed. Such a high craftsmanship in these things. Hey, how you doing? Ah, yeah, there we go. There, you can kind of see. I got all the space in here. I think I'm going to be able to reinforce the corners with those L brackets I got and maybe add some more bracing we'll see if I even it's even really necessary to do all that but, all right I'm gonna have to cut you off and bring you back here in a second all right let's test fit our first piece of Insulation. Okay, let's lose that. Oh yeah, if you're not cutting this thing out in half, you're not getting it out. Surprise! Oh come on. All right, you're gonna fit whether you like it or not. Yeah, see right there. Yes, I gotta cut the other one a little smaller. And there you go. Can you see that? Maybe not. Maybe. Hang on. There we go. So I'm gonna go through, cut all this insulation up, and put it in between the studs. But uh, I should probably put the L brackets in first. That'd be a good idea, right? So. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna insulate it and then staple this guy back down. So hang around and you'll see it. All right, I hope you can hear me. Got the fan going, cause it's hot. 
Let's just see. Let's just check this out. Probably blocking you out here. Oh. Our fly is back. I think this is gonna be a little bit more helpful. Yeah, I got a Milwaukee drill, cobalt bit, DeWalt, or uh, whatever that's called, and then a DeWalt bit. I'm sure somebody out there is cringing right now. Get over it. Watch them staples, boy. Mark that. Okay. I don't think it marked it, but I know where it goes. in the way here. All right, I think you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and move you out of the way because uh, I'm probably blocking out most of the picture anyway. Let me get a let me get these put in here and then I'll I'll bring you back. Alright, got all my brackets in. Let me give you some light here. Got all my brackets in. That was kind of a pain, I'm not gonna lie. You can see I'm sweating a little bit. But they're in. I don't know if they're gonna do what I want them to do, or if they're even gonna make a difference, but. I figured I might as well add them in here while I've got this all taken apart. So now I'm just going to go through and measure each of these openings, which I've already got that one done. I guess my light just died. All right. Huh. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to go through, measure each of the openings, which I've already got the one done. I just got to cut the other piece for the that end. Um, and then measure these other ones and cut my insulation and then drop it in. Oh, wrong one, wrong one.
big old stables. All right. Like a glove. Now, just got to get that other piece in there. And of course, the dimensions are not the same as that one because why would they be? So, cut me another piece. Um, actually, that one might work. Use that scrap. So, let's get it cut. All right, a little update. I got a couple of them knocked out. Um, now, on to these last two. This one here is kind of a odd shape, so I don't know how that's going to pan out. I might have to. Probably gonna have a bunch of little cuts, but that's all right. I got, I'll have a bunch of scraps so I can make that happen. And then I'm probably gonna finish insulating the pass-through, which you've probably seen in the, in the last update video, but I'll do that. And then I got a couple other things I'm gonna knock out today that y'all get to watch. So, yeah. But anyway, let me get these cut and put in place, and I'll bring you back when I get that done. It's pretty straightforward. If you got any questions, you'll have to put them in the comments, though. But it's uh, really just straightforward. And there it is. Got it done. It's not real pretty right here. I had packed that one up with my uh, utility knife but uh, it doesn't really matter too much because that's not, you know, um, over the outside kitchen where I think we're getting a lot of that heat. So hopefully this makes a considerable difference for this bunk. Um, just putting that Reflectix in the outside kitchen helped out um, a noticeable amount, not, nothing crazy, but it was noticeable. So that's a win. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So that project is done. Now I've got all this scrap insulation and I've got one extra board. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish insulating the pass through and then on to some other stuff. So stick around. And it's stripped, it will not tighten. And all my weight in it to get it shut. We're gonna fix that right now. Well, I had to draw a drill that other screw behind it to hold it in place because when I took the old screw out um, and moved this to where it needed to be, the hole would have been too close to put this screw in there and it would have just made a giant hole. So I had to use the same hole. Luckily this one was able to get a little bit more bite, um, but it was still spinning. Um, sh the hole itself is stripped. so. This just kind of helps locate it and keep it in place. Um, I guess without replacing this entire door frame thing here, that's the best I can come up with. But it closes now. Boom. Done. Check that off the list. As you can see, the next project has been knocked out. Couple J hooks. 
I'm likely not going to keep the paddleboard there. I might. I don't know. It's real big up there, though. But I'm going to order another set of J-hooks. They come in packs of four. So I'll at least have the option to rooftop the paddleboard. And y'all tell me in the comments. These things are supposed to be behind... This should be mounted behind this. I feel like it should be. So y'all tell me in the comments if that's true, if that's right. <clears throat> but so far, I'm getting them knocked out. About ready to start carrying all the kids, kayaks, the paddle board, the inflatable, all kinds of stuff. So whoops. But this one is complete. On to the next one. Yo, canoe. Get a little update. Have you ever been paddling along and just thought, man, this would be the perfect spot for my GoPro? Well, my friends, I have the solution that you're looking for. You think that looks good? Yeah, I do too. Still wobbly. I don't care. All right, let's see. I don't believe any of these are gonna. F <laughs> You're a jerk. Why would you work? Can you even see me right now? Or am I so fat and blocking this out? Hang on. Come here. Come here. Talk back to me. There you are. Okay. Voila. Some tea track. All right. I think that's done. We're done. It is six o'clock and it is hot. And I want to go into the AC. I'm done for the day. If you have any questions, let me know. 
Otherwise, see ya.